everyone. Welcome to our digital bedtime story time. I'm Miss Maureen, also known as Maureen Amiot, Library Director at the Westboro Public Library. And um, I'm here at the library tonight um, bringing you story time, and I'm here in my PJs. Um, I said this on an earlier video, but it's so fun to be at the library in my PJs because I never come to the library in my PJs. So maybe you have years on, um, or maybe you're gonna get in your PJs after story time, um, but that's what it's all about. It's all about PJ story time. So tonight I have some uh, fun stories to share with you. And um, the first one is an older book that I read a long time ago. And I was hoping that with um, all the kids who are home, who are hanging out, that, um, that you're helping your moms and dads around the house. And one of the chores that nobody ever wants to do, even in my house, I never want to do it either, is take out the trash. So this story, called Trashy Town, is um, about what happens to your trash after you take it out. Um, so maybe it will make taking the trash out a little more fun. We'll see. Probably not, but we'll try anyway. This is Trashy Town by Andrea Zimmerman. Mr. Gilly is a trash man. In the morning, Mr. Gilly puts on his heavy gloves. He climbs into his big trash truck. He turns the key. He drives his empty trash tr truck down the road. Down the road. He is looking for trash. That was a lot of words with R's in them. <laughs> or T's. Stop! There are trash cans by the school. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No. Mr. Gilly drives on. Stop! There are trash cans in the park. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No. Mr. Gilly drives on. Stop! There are trash cans behind the pizza parlor. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No. Mr. Gilly drives on. Stop! There are trash cans next to the doctor's office. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No? It must be getting close. No, it's not. You're right. Mr. Gilly drives on. Stop! There are trash cans by the fire station. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the truck full yet? No. Mr. Gilly drives down all the streets in trashy town. He empties all the trash cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the truck full yet? Mr. Gilly has cleaned up the whole town. Mr. Gilly drives the full trash truck to the dump. Up, up, up goes the truck. Down, down, down goes the trash. I dumped it in, I smashed it down. I love to clean up trashy town. Mr. Gilly turns off the key. He takes off his gloves, then he goes home. Now there's only one more thing to clean up. What do you think that is? It's time for a bath, Mr. Gilly. He needs a bath after all that hard work. The end. That's Trashy Town by Andrea Zimmerman. And we all need a bath at the end of the day after we have done all of that, our work too. And all of our playing, coloring, so another chore that you might be doing, or you might be helping your moms and dads with, 
is laundry. Laundry can be kind of fun because when it's all done, you get to handle all the clothes and they're nice and warm from the dryer and they smell nice. Um, but this story is called Mrs. McNosh Hangs Up Her Wash because she hangs hers outside on the clothesline. And sometimes when you do that, oh my goodness, the clothes smell so nice when they come in. So she's gonna do that. Each Monday at dawn, Mrs. Nellie McNosh brings out a barrel and does a big wash. She's washing them in a barrel instead of a regular washing machine. That's how they used to do it in the old days before they had washing machines. It takes her all morning and when the sun's high, she hangs what she's washed on the clothesline to dry. She hangs up the dresses. She hangs up the shirts. She hangs up the underwear. She hangs up the nightgowns and skirts. Now, I don't know about you guys. I don't know if I would want my underwear hanging on the clothesline in my yard for everybody to see. She is much braver than me. <laughs> She hangs up the stockings. She hangs up the shoes. She brings out the paper and hangs up the news. She hangs up the dog and his dish and his bone. She gets a wrong number and hangs up the phone. I think she's going a little crazy. She hangs up a hat and an old wedding gown and two sleepy bats, which she hangs upside down. She hangs up a lamp and a large Christmas wreath and Grandpa McNosh's removable teeth. Oh my goodness. She hangs up a kite by the tip of its tail. The postman arrives and she hangs up the mail. She hangs till she's hung every last thing in sight including the turkey she's roasting that night. Each Monday by dusk, Mrs. Nellie McNosh has finally hung up the last of her wash. She takes off her apron and lets down her hair, then hangs herself up in a comfortable chair. Yay. Good job, Mrs. McNosh. <laughs> That's so silly. Okay, and one last one. This one is called Sleep Tight Snow White, 15 Bewitching Bedtime Rhymes by Jen Arena. I found this one on the, the shelves here at the library when I was looking for some stories to read to you. I had never read this one. So I think this one's really fun. Sleep Tight Snow White, Seven Dwarves Say Good Night. Rest your head, little red. Forget the wolf. It's time for bed. Listen to me, princess and the pea. If there's a lump, just let it be. Look at the clocks, Goldilocks. Brush your teeth. Take off your socks. Go to sleep, little Bo Peep. Close your eyes and count your sheep. Like a fella, Cinderella? Eight hours sleep will keep you Bella. That means pretty, if you don't know. Don't rough it, little Miss Muffet. Fluff a pillow, chuck the tuffet. You're disarming, dear Prince Charming, but you snore so loudly, it's alarming. Don't be mean, wicked queen. Start a new day, fresh and clean. Sleep's your duty, sleeping beauty. When you snooze, you're such a cutie. Day will fade, little mermaid. Rest underwater in ocean shade. Please settle, Hansel and Gretel. Sleepy time tea is in the kettle. 
Lie down at least, Beauty and the Beast. Wait for sunrise far to the east. Time to, ch time to chill, Jack and Jill. Dream of pails, another hill. Sad but true, little boy blue. They're all asleep. You should be too. The end. So they're all asleep, little boy blue. You should be too, because it's the end of story time, which means it's time to go to sleep. So everybody get into your PJs, Wash your face, brush your teeth, give your mom and dad a hug, and have sweet dreams and good sleep. Good night, Westboro.